pin dropped down in the track and I just heard I'm probably the biggest fan in the audience because you know every night you know that two or three thousand people are seeing this for the first time but when you're down here it's like you've never heard it or seen it before we cannot see the show but you can hear the laughter the weeping it's um it's, it's got everything so it doesn't feel like I've been here from the beginning it feels like oh tonight's opening night and I hope it goes well My name is Kay Ragsdale. I am a member of the orchestra for The Lion King. I play the flute part, which has 15 different flutes, and I've been a member of the Gazelle Company from the very beginning, so almost 11 years now. The flute part is a member of the orchestra on one level. On a second level, it is a commentator on the action, and oftentimes it will be doing something opposite from the rest of the orchestra. And thirdly, it is a character. You can almost tell by the size and the look of the instrument which instrument is for which character. For instance, we have a little tiny flute here. This is a Chinese ditza. This is uh, one of the smallest sizes that they come in. So when you hear Nala, when she's a little cub, you hear the little tiny instrument. But then, in Act 2, she becomes a teenager, so she gets a larger instrument. And you hear this instrument in her feature song, Shadowland. This little pan pipe you hear when Simba sings, I just can't wait to be king. But then as he gets older, he then graduates to a larger instrument. We have a pan pipe here for the hyenas. So this is usually a little villainous sounding. Whenever they're on stage. However, the best panpipe of all is this Toyo. This is from Ecuador. This is for Scar. This will sound one octave to two octaves below where it's printed. So whenever Scar is on stage, you will hear this instrument. So you know that there is villainy afoot. I think that the audience may not realize that there is a full live symphony orchestra down here playing. We have amazing instruments that are not found in a standard orchestral orchestra. This is not a CD. This is not processed music. It is all a once in a lifetime opportunity to hear real instruments that you will not see probably ever again. I invite everyone to come down and, and see what's down here because it's live.